Hi, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel and you're wondering who I am, my name is Del and you're here to be extra with Del. So I vlog about Miss University yearly and tell you guys what I think and who's going to win, who's going to make it, who's not going to make it. I get dragged for it. I get loved by so many of people and hate by so many other people because of what I say, but I'm honest. So if you don't like honesty, then you should skip it forward, but give it a like and subscribe first. But I am honest and it doesn't matter. I don't give a shit what country the queen is from. If you're deserving of the crown, it shouldn't matter where you come from. You know what I mean? So as long as you are, you know, like you're relatable, you have the X factor, you should win Miss Universe. That's that. So besides that, I want to tell you guys today that I'm going to make a prediction based on the girl's communication skills. So, and we all know that's like super important for a Miss Universe um, queen because she's not just a beautiful face and the pasarela and the body, honey, but she's everything, right? So communication skills is super important. So I base this off on how well she knows English. It's important. Political correctness aside, you have to know English. You're going to be touring around the United States. You have to know English. Two, how well you convey your point. Is it fluid? Are you confident? That's the second criteria. And three, how well do you listen and connect with an interviewer or the viewers? So I base it off on that. So now that I have that there, you have the three criteria, criteria now. Shall we start? Starting with Peru. Okay, so I will tell them that they need to believe in themselves and that they never should underestimate what they're capable to do and that there are gonna be good days, bad days that you just need to keep going because you can achieve every dream you have but with a lot of effort, discipline, perseverance and with a lot of work so just go for it, do it and never let anyone let you down or, or tell you that you're not capable of because you are and yes I think believe in yourself have that confidence and everything is in the attitude so okay so Miss Peru what she has is this charm and when she speaks to you that it just feels like she's like your your friend and she's like giving you an advice and you just want to hear it. and I think the fact that she's so fucking stunning it's probably why she sounds so good because it's like you're looking at her it's like she looks like an angel that charisma that she has when she's speaking it's it's really you you can't you you can't learn that that's very natural factor the x the x factor she has that and i mean you know and again communication skills it's not just about you know oh my god it's fluid blah 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 but it's being able to sit down with someone and say like yo like there's something beautiful about you. And like, you know, you make me want to be an incredible person. And I think Miss Beru does that. She makes you want to listen to what she has to say. And like, you know, through that, you want to change your life or something. So love her. Curacao. That's not true. <laughs> but yes, there's always more She's improvement gorgeous. to do. And that's also something that I want to tell the people, you know, before I competed in this, I never knew. I was super scared of public speaking. This was the thing really? that I was the most scared of. I knew oh. that I was pretty and that oh, I could okay. do pasarela. Those are things that you get taught. But speaking is something that really, you need a lot of confidence, but mm. also it comes from within and it's totally. knowledge and it's experience and it's so much more than that. So I was very scared for public Doesn't speaking, like but it. during <laughs> this uh, whole journey, I've realized that public speaking or speaking yeah. in public oh, is actually one of her. my strengths. So okay. you never. Okay, so that's a little a little bit of her conversation with I don't know who, but I think she's a really really great speaker. She's also very stunning. Um, and again, like it's she sounds like an American girl. I know I'm being kind of like you know, not racist, but rather like exclusive maybe, but like, I mean, you know, it's important to sound American. You are competing in the American market. So, so I think she sounds, you know, incredible. She sounds confident and she's relatable and, you know, I really like her. I think she will move forward. Um, you know, again, this is just based on speaking. I think that she's amazing and I like the way she speaks. 
So, so I think that Miss Cambodia as a whole is all about inclusivity and diversity, just like you said. So we accept people from every background, no matter what. In fact, they just put it the rule of yeah. accepting married women and women with child, Love which it. is all about inclusivity and diversity. So why not? No, but yeah. seriously mm. though, like, I think Cambodia is going to excel this year. I really, really do. I think that she has this connection that, you know, that guy is actually a famous vlogger in the Philippines, Adam. Hey, Adam, how are you? How are you doing, Adam? <laughs> no, but Adam is, um, you know, interviewing her. And obviously that she is making a connection with him. It's not just that, like, I'm here, I'm gorgeous, but she's making a connection. And that's really important. Not a lot of people can do that, even if you're, like, already, like, you know, a crown queen from a country. But, like, to have that confidence and to be, you know, hand movements and like looking right into your um interviewer and that's a skill and that's what miss universe looks for and so i think that she, she she's gonna do great and i think that ability she certainly is probably the best speaker in asia well i mean in india also i mean she's a great speaker but you know like the asian asian <laughs> oh my god is that racist i'm sorry i mean I, I don't mean it like that but i just think like in terms of southeast asians i think she's standing out sorry celeste south africa miss mm -hmm. um, Josie. Josie. yes, yes. Um, and I was just trying it out to see what is this all about and only to find that there's so much you can do for your community because mm. I've always wanted to serve my community but I never knew how. So just finding it's that gorgeous. space, I knew that this is where I belong. I love that it's only a four-year-old dream. Okay, so, I mean, she's from South Africa, obviously. Like, we already know every South African queen is, like, an incredible speaker, really. Like, I mean... There's really not much to, like, dissect here. She's an incredible speaker. Um, you know, English is their native tongue, so I wouldn't say it's unfair, but it's kind of unfair. But no, but I think, you know, I think that's why I think that she does well is because it's her native tongue. But again, communication skills, not just about, like, the language or your the accent, but it's the way you're communicating with somebody. You're looking into their eyes, and I think she's doing that. She's penetrating into your, like, mind and... That's what I love about her. And she's engaging. So, but you know, she's, do we really need another South African queen though? <laughs> like Miss Universe? No, I'm kidding. But I mean, um, I think she's great. I think she's going to do really well. India. India is really important. Uh, my own father harnessed his power and, you know, he got himself out of poverty through education and he was able to provide for himself. Us. He was able to provide for us, give us a better shot at life because he studied, he educated himself. And that is why, you know, I feel so passionate about education. But I also want to kind of broaden our uh, perspective on what it means to have an education. It's not just about grades. It's not just about not. Um, <laughs> a stable career, but it's also about the confidence that you get you know the awareness of the opportunities and possibilities that your life has and that's important for kids to know that you know um, these are the Fabulous. life skills the she, values that you can really, use to like, overcome any adversity like, don't you just want to be a better person that is important like speaking, can like, we really, like, um, educate our kids life, to grow really? up to be decent human beings who are aware of their She's rights so who are aware of their values and just grow up to be kind people you know who can cheer on for other people and build this world to be a happier place that's the incentive and especially for I mean I want to say that like it's going to be back to back but there's so much more that comes into like becoming a Miss Universe I will say that she's an incredible speaker I've, I've heard her or seen her other interviews and she's an incredible speaker um, you know they're trying to do something that is historic which is a back to back but I don't think it's going to happen I do think that she's a well spoken gorgeous stunning queen you know, but Miss Universe is a lot more than just speaking all, obviously. But she's an incredible speaker. I cannot take that away from her. I mean, it's, she, it seems so natural. It flows so naturally that, like, like I'm sold that she really wants me to get a great education. I already have. So I'm educated. So don't, let's not go there. <laughs> so, but she's totally right. And, the, you know, she hit it on the mark. Education is so important. And she conveyed that so well. So good job, India. Spain. Mm -hmm. by your beauty. She's 
gorgeous. I personally don't consider that's it. Tita Lavinia. We love Tita oh, Lavinia. Shout out that Tita Lavinia. Like an object. If I felt like an object, then I would. Why wouldn't you go? So she's still in the Philippines, I guess. And so. I respect how any woman doesn't agree with it and doesn't want to join. She's gorgeous. But also, that I want to join and that for me joining Miss Universe is a way of proving she's that so I'm passionate. Way more she's than like experience. It's proving that I'm hardworking. I'm organized, I'm determined, I have good values, I have a message, I'm inspiring, I'm empowering. For other women, they I just like that she's saying it how it, like you know how she means it. She's like, I don't give a this is like, I don't give a shit what you think. I'm beautiful and I've got a message and I've got by my beauty. I'm gonna change the world, Please okay? Make a research. It should look good in a bikini. Join or just give the chance to a beauty pageant because now that I have joined the beauty pageant I really have to clap for all of the beauty queens seriously though you guys I think she is such a stunner and again that speaking ability is she's so passionate that's what I love about her and again the English sounds so great and she speaks like three languages so I think she's quite amazing um you know she's gonna be up there she's gonna be in top 10 top five you know, I would love to hear her, like, answer the question. So, you know, uh, and to have a new country <laughs> to be on the top five would be incredible. So she's gorgeous, and I'm rooting for her so much. Thing that has to do Puerto with science, Rico. especially with space. I remember growing up, I would look up at the stars, and I look up at the moon, and I would even talk to the moon sometimes. She speaks to the but moon for me, like that was just something magical. It was like... Can you imagine something that is infinite, but that infinity is expanding? Um, I would also watch Star Trek a lot. Star and Trek. In Star Trek, Trekking. there was a engineer. Her name was Yohora. In 1966, Yohora. when Star Trek came Yohora. out, she was the only female, <laughs> one of the female lead characters that was African American. And to me, I was just She's looking so at her, and that was a representation. Morena, Seeing someone that looked like me, that was a Morena. scientist, an engineer, that was traveling through I space. Like I was like, okay, <laughs> I want to do that. My favorite Book. Okay, seriously though, she's just like such an incredible speaker. I mean, that's been kind of proven because she was in Miss Unit, she was in Miss USA before she made it to top five or top eight or something like that. She was in that table. She did terrible on, during that round table, but she's such an incredible speaker and like she sounds so sincere. She probably is. I mean, you know, being a woman of color, like it, you have to be so extraordinary to excel in life. And I think that's exactly what she is. She's that woman. She understands, you know, the hurdles in life for her because she's this, you know, like she's a woman of color and she's like trying to break a barrier. And I love her. And so, I mean, put aside the fact that she competed in Miss USA before, which I use, I know, I know that seems to be like an advantage. And I you know, I want to take that away and say that like she's a great speaker. So I mean, that's what we're judging is like how well do you speak and how do you connect with people? And I think she does that. Brazil. I think the best part has definitely been that it's only five girls, and I and I would have I really hope I get the opportunity to meet the other. Uh, it was twenty six, so the other twenty one that aren't here. She has no accent. But we've had the opportunity to really get to know each other, to bond, to hear each other's stories, and I can say with honesty that although only one will leave tomorrow with a crown on her head. All of us so are going to leave here with friendships for a lifetime. And the worst part, I wouldn't say it's the worst, but it's something that I would oh. change. Maybe I'd like a couple more hours of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so clearly she must have grown, she must have grew up like in... United States or something in Florida, probably. I don't know. But she does not have, like, an accent whatsoever. And I think she's just, like, a really, really incredible speaker. And, like, and she's kind of a gentle speaker. I love that. Like, that silent confidence. And so I, I think she's an incredible speaker. And, like, you cannot trace a Brazilian accent at all. That's crazy, isn't it? But, yeah, so I think she's a, a, a great speaker. I think she's, like, like that confident silent and she doesn't have to be loud and like there's something about the way she speaks to you that you feel like engaged so kudos to brazil for getting it right this time 
But I mean, apparently there was only five girls to choose from, so <laughs> must have been easy. <laughs> Good for her. Good luck to her. Good luck, Brazil. Guatemala. But I such a funny story because I'm actually very shy. Like when I was a child, I would not She's speak shy. to anybody. Thankfully, nowadays I've grown out of it. I have found my confidence in myself. But I really just yeah. saw my parents speaking. My parents are pastors, and so they would always be talking in front of people. And their mission was always to inspire others and to help them grow. And so watching them, I was like, that's cool, you know? I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to talk and people listen to me and, and feel like they can she learn something from me. So I started working on that. Five, well, you know what it is? It's such an incredible ability to be able to touch people's hearts. So, okay, so... It's not just me who thinks that she can speak well. Uh, obviously, Miss Universe um, 2005, correct me if I'm wrong, but she's from Canada, thinks that she's an incredible speaker also. She almost kind of reminds me of like Catriona Gray with the way she speaks a little bit. I mean, I'm sure someone's going to drag me in the comment section saying, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but she's a great speaker. And again, she's... Oh my God, my ring light came off, you guys. <laughs> However, Guatemala is the best speaker of the bunch thus far, I think. And that concludes my top 10 prediction based on speaking ability. So let me know what you guys think in the comment box. Do you agree with me or do you hate what I just said? As usual, leave it all in the comment box. Let's have a conversation. And aren't you guys all excited for the competition? It's almost there and I'm going to be there. I'm going to be at New Orleans and, you know, recording whatever necessary I need to do so you guys can, you know, experience the girls in a way that, you know, like you'd never be able to because, you know, you're in totally in different countries. I live in the United States. I can definitely be there. And what do you guys think? What do you guys want to see when I'm there? So I'm super excited and I hope that it's like next week already, but it's not. So I'm super excited and keep an eye out for more videos. And again, Thank you for watching my videos. Like and subscribe. Stay beautiful and stay extra. Bye.